County. We're pleased to have Lucy Hackett here this morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Lucy's all ready to square dance. Yeehaw! <laughs> you bet. Yeehaw! I think that's great. <laughs> so, right. So, I am a member of Jackson Claim Jumpers. My grandparents danced with the Jackson Claim Jumpers. And when I was a little girl um, staying with them, they would go off to Angel's Camp or wherever, dance in the park. And I would read my book on the park bench until they were done dancing. And, but, uh, but yeah, so uh, I just think that's a fun coming around again How kind fun. of thing. Uh, but it is time for our annual beginning square dance classes to begin. They start September 15th. And um, we are inviting anybody who thinks they might like square dancing to come out and join us because it is a lot of fun. And the classes are going to be held where? The, the classes are at the Senior Center. They've got a nice big floor with air conditioning. Great. And they start uh, September 15th at Monday nights, 6.30. So September 15th, September the 22nd, I guess, and then the 29th are free for you to come try square, square dancing, beginning square dancing. Anybody can do it. You don't have to have a square dancing outfit. <laughs> or my petticoat. Well, your petticoat. Uh, <laughs> Got to have a lot of petticoats. You do not have to have anything. You can yeah. come and dance in your shorts and your sneakers. There you go. But, uh, but the petticoats are actually kind of fun. They are. You can ask my husband. Twirl. I was, was just going to ask, does John go and square dance with you? John does. So we went to beginning square dance lessons a couple of years ago, uh, my daughter and I, because Elise said she thought that would be fun. We had so much fun, we said, we have to bring dad. And he's like, I'm not going to go square dancing. <laughs> and we said, no, no, you have to come square dancing. And, uh, and he did, and he loves it. And he's really, of our family, the biggest ambassador. He tells everyone he knows that. Um, well, it's great. It's great exercise. It's good cardio. It keeps your brain going. Here we I are mean, at the fairgrounds. Look we how did a, cute. We did a demo. And uh, the Probably. caller, yeah, the caller is is calling moves, and we do not know what he's going to say until he tells us what to do. So you understand, you, you, you so have to listen. So that's what you're learning. Yeah. You have to listen, and you're learning the calls. And, um, you know, when you go to beginning classes, you're taught, you know, baby steps, of course. Right. Yeah. Um, for a demo like this, we're all dressed up in um, traditional square dance clothing, but for workshops, people wear, you know, comfortable clothing, comfortable shoes. And uh, and learn the learn the moves, and it is it is really a lot of fun. What uh, can you tell us the history of square dancing? What data sure. goes back to? So way back, way back to um, you know probably fourteen, fifteen hundreds in Europe, dances where people came together and went apart. You've probably seen um, you know in formal ballrooms. Sure. And then that was carried to the United States and kept alive in Appalachia as a country dances of different kinds, barn dances and that sort of thing. And then Henry Ford, in the 1920s, wanted to preserve American folk dancing. And he and a, and a teacher of square dancing wrote a book that popularized it in schools. Oh and that's God. why we all learned square dancing in I did. PE yeah. in school. And uh, that, that style of square dancing has become more complicated and more advanced in modern square dancing. Um, but that's where it started, and uh, and Henry Ford had the money to get the book published, and he I'll was a darned. big advocate of of American folk dancing. And for me, it's really fun Americana. We dance to all kinds of music. Some of it's country music, but we also have been dancing to Blurred Lines uh, this <laughs> <laughs> this season. Very no, popular. No twerking in in the <laughs> yeah yeah uh, Robin Thicke. And yeah uh, yeah so. Um, so there's all kinds of music. If you love music and you'd like to get moving right. and use your brain, it, it, and, and again, first three lessons are free, and if you like it, it's only, I think, $12 a month after that. Yeah, and, and you, when you concentrate on, on listening to what's being called, it's, it's a lot of fun. I watched, um, I watched what they had. Oh, yeah, see? Or even when we mess up, we have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's what happened there. <laughs> and, you know, and you know what it reminds me of... Um, with the partners and whatever, is that I watch, I hate to admit this now, but I watch Molly B's polka party on Saturday night. Oh, there you go. And I'm yeah. telling you, it is just so much fun to watch these people do that, and to dance and stuff. They just have a ball. So I understand with Square, dancing, yeah, yeah, on the and RFD TV, whatever it is, they get down and they have uh, square dancing and polka and whatever. It's great. And for guys who may say, I'm not a dancer. Men really enjoy this because it's quite mathematical. 
it's a puzzle. The caller is calling you through a number of patterns and gets you back to your starting point. And all you essentially have to do is be able to walk and, you know, go like this. Go like that. <laughs> you do not and you actually, you lead your partner. Right, so right. for the men, it's, it's different. Right. And then you just strut those little So if So there, if there are men out there who say, well, I don't like to dance, they might actually like square dancing. I think it'd be a lot of fun. September the 15th is the it first starts, class. Yeah, Amador Senior Center, 630. Just come as you are, and we'll teach you how to square dance. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Her husband, John, is an amazing dancer. Is he? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he gets down. I dance with him at the I O at the uh, TGIF. He's yeah. Really? At one oh. point, I looked up and John and Cam and <laughs> Tex Jensen were dancing together, a kind of a guys group dancing together. You know, you, oh. you sometimes see like that <laughs> a, little, a little bromance going on there, huh? You know, you sometimes see that with the girls, but you know, these guys they they do a little line dancing. dancing. We did do some line dancing, and we do that for fun, That's too. that push, push, tush, whatever you call it? Yeah, line you know, uh, yeah. Line dancing, I'm not as good at line dancing as I am at square dancing. I think, that, I think that's a lot of fun. And, and I'm telling you, even if you're a senior like myself, it is very good for cardio. It's a lot of fun. You get out and just All you ages, meet people. Well, any, you know, older kids, probably older elementary kids, up to we have um, members who are almost 90. And also... Um, you do not have to have a partner. Right. Come as a single if you if you like, and we will make sure you have somebody to dance to. Well, you know what? With. you got to bring John and do a few uh, things for us sometime. <laughs> I that think would that would fun. that would be fun. Come in and show us what you what you joined. Call us and tell her you want to come back on. And we we will. We'll come back. and do that. I like and I like that and I like the square dancing, the music too. It's fun. Yeah, lots it's of fun music. Gets those toes tapping. Right. Lucy, yeah. thanks for coming to the studio. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. We're gonna run to an ad break. We'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.